Good morning, Baron Carter. Mr. Dawes is coming at you with prom information. It's that time of year. Prom, awesome. Time to have some fun, but let's make sure we do this right. So we'll roll through with all the information you need right here, right now. So are you going? If you are, you need to fill out a form. Even if you are a Baron Carter student, you need to fill out a form. It is on the email that went, this went out in Canvas, but you can also pick one up in Student Services. And then even if all that failed, you can email Ms. Jackson for a form, like if you're at Beacon or something like that. So yes, if you go to Barron, you still need a form. If you have a guest, if they definitely need a form. It is a different form. It is the, you guessed it, the guest form. So you will be notified via Canvas when you have been approved. Just turning in a form doesn't mean you're good to go. You will first have to, that is just the first step. Okay, so now you got approved. Now what? Well, do you owe money? Do you owe a book? Do you owe detention? Those things need to be satisfied. I will send out a list on Canvas to let you know if you need to see me to clear up any confusion that might happen because you owe money or detentions. So make sure you see me if you have those questions or just pay your bill. Um, all those parking people that thought it was okay. So where do you buy a ticket? Well, tickets will go on sale March 20th. That is the Monday we come back from the spring break and they'll be on sale until March 31st. Late tickets can be purchased from April 3rd through April 7th, but those will be $25 more per ticket. So my suggestion is save money and do it before March 31st. We will sell tickets and commons at lunch. If you're not here for lunch, then you reach out to Ms. Paula Jackson for a ticket purchase time. Tickets, they're $150. Yes, that's a lot of money. We apologize. Yes, some schools are cheaper. We weren't able to get in some of those places, so we were at the Ritz. The Ritz is the Ritz, so they want more money, so you're having more of an exclusive prom. The $150, just so you know, is with us helping to subsidize to make sure the ticket stays down to $150, and we'll try to go with that, but inflation is real. Now, again, if you don't buy your ticket by March 31st, it is $175 per ticket, so try to get that done. You may buy your ticket through GoFan, but there is a credit card processing fee from that company, which amounts to about $8, so I would suggest just trying to get in person. What do you get for that? Well, you obviously get in, you get a dinner, Nicer dinner because it's at the Ritz. Valet parking. If you want to bring a couple dollars for tip, that would be really nice to them. Dancing and memories forever. I, I vividly remember both of my proms. Photo ID. You must bring your current photo ID. If you're a Collier County student or your guest is a Collier County, Collier County student, because you obviously are because you're a baron, you need to bring your current school ID. They need to at least have a driver's license, and you need that when you do the form. You, you will be to purchase tickets for you and your guest on the day that corresponds with your last name your last name. So if you are a junior and you're bringing a sophomore, because it is senior junior prom, but you can bring sophomores and freshmen, freshmen if you want to. So, but it, it's on the day that you are purchasing it. So if you're doing that and you're a, a junior, you're bringing a sophomore, your last name is Smith and their last name is Foster, then it's going to be on Smith and you'll get this because the next time it goes on the date. So, and then GoFan, you can purchase on any day. So seniors, your white tickets March 20th to the 24th in the comments. Last names A through F on March 20th. So only A through F on March 20th. And again, if you're buying it for your date, you may do that on those days if, they're, if they are not a junior or senior. G through M, N through Z, and then all seniors on the 23rd. So if you miss your day, if your last name is Foster, and if we have any many schools, last name is Foster, I'm sorry, I'm not picking on you. Just pull the name out of the hat. If, if, you're, if you're a foster and you don't buy it on the 20th, you may not purchase it on the 21st. You may not purchase it on the 22nd. You have to wait for the 23rd, okay? Juniors, you don't get to purchase tickets till the 24th. Seniors, if you miss your dates, you can't purchase from the 24th through the 29th. Those are juniors only. You had your time. So you will have to wait until March 30th, 31st, where everybody will, will be able to purchase a ticket. Once again, if you purchase it through GoFan, you can buy it on any day. Getting there, where is it? Ritz-Carlton at Tiburon, so right up here on airport. Our party bus is allowed. Seriously? No. You will forfeit your interest to the dance. You will not get your money back. You will not pass go. You will not collect $200. Can your parents drop, drop you off? Absolutely, they can drop you off at the Ritz-Carlton at Tiburon. Can you drive yourself? Yes, that's what the valet is for. Hint, clean your car. If you're using your parents' car, really clean the car because they have things that is perfectly allowed to have but you can't have. So make sure that you remove any vapes or any alcohol or anything like that or any weapons that shouldn't be in that vehicle before going. 
that is your favorite to your parents by really cleaning the car for letting you letting them use letting you use their car there we go and if you have any questions see me but you don't end up hanging out with me instead of dancing with your date i don't dance very well okay when can you get there you can arrive by 5 30 p.m if you get there early you're probably hanging out front when, out front once again with me if you arrive after seven o'clock you wasted your money you're not getting in you can't go okay you have to be there between 5 30 and 7 after 7 that's it okay um when can you leave prom you can't leave before eight o'clock if you try if you try to leave before eight o'clock you have to see me i'm going to call your parents and i'm going to say hi mr and mrs foster susie wants to leave right now can she go they might say yes and you can go but we're we are going to have to do that process okay while at prom can you walk around and explore the hotel it's the ritz it's awesome it's great no you can't get a hotel room there and you can't go wander in the hotel you have to stay in the lobby walking back to your dance area which is really cool you enjoy that area but you can't just like go hang out or anything like that you have to stay there and again you can't stay at the hotel will we get disciplined for bringing inappropriate items or behavior at the dance what do you think yes you will be it is a school event so if you bring something such as we mentioned in the car or if you hide on your person so you have to you just have to have that vape at dance that's great you will have wasted 150 dollars you will go home you will not pass go you will not collect 200 dollars. so just make sure you get make sure you just hold off do whatever you're doing whatever this is prom we want to relax and have a great time at prom it's a fun night it'll be a great night to remember dress code i know i've gotten these questions already i've gotten pictures already strapless and spaghetti straps they're allowed. This isn't like hanging out in the hallways. This is this is this is prom. I get it. We're working with you, so don't throw things at me. If you're not sure, let me let me know. I'll see a picture. Some of you have some impeccable ta taste in dresses and a lot of money to spend. Apparently, fingertip length is not enforced, so I'm not going to worry that the dress is not fingertip length. However, it must be appropriately dressed. And I know that's a big big window to look at. So if you're not sure, show you know show me, and we'll work through that one. Gentlemen, dress code is also for you. No jeans. You do have to be appropriately dressed to, you know, slacks and stuff. You can't just wear jeans, shorts, things like that. And keep your shirt on because we've had that before. When you get all dancing this, that, whatever, you can't take your shirt off. Keep it on. Sorry. Any other questions, let me know. Dancing. Keep it classy. All right. That's probably the best thing to say there. And I think, yes, that was it. Any questions, make sure you let me know. We want you to have a great time. Prom is, is a lot of great memories, so um, make sure you let me know, and let's just focus on having a good time. Thank you. Remember that your worst day at Barron Collier is better than your best day anywhere else. What's a cougar? Q, Q, Q. Oh, we don't have those where, where I'm from. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. It's Class Olympics Beer Week. Today is Tacky Tours. Wednesday is Pirates. Thursday is Biker vs. Surfer. And Friday is Class Color Clash Day. Grade level Olympics will be 6th and 7th periods on Friday on the football field. Tickets will be sold Monday through Thursday this week. Lunch for $3.00 per ticket for both players and spectators. There will be 12 players per grade level and unlimited spectators. Drama Club is hosting a Songs from the Silver Screen Cabaret talent show during 6th and 7th period, as well as an evening performance at 7.30 p.m. all on Friday, March 24th. Tickets to attend a daytime performance during either 6th or 7th period are $3 and will be on sale March 20th through the 24th during lunch in the cafeteria. 
The evening performance will be an extended version, and tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults, and will be on sale at the door the evening of the performance. Students interested in performing should sign up at the following link. Congratulations to Ennis Litchevik, Lucas Giles, and Kira Patella for their outstanding performances at States this weekend. Kira took fourth place in the state as a freshman first year wrestler. Congratulations to Brandon Torres for being awarded the National Football Team Distinction Award through the National Football Foundation of Collier County. He will have his name on the College Football Hall of Fame forever. I've been there. Really? Last yes. night, the boys lacrosse team beat Golden Gate 17 to zero and the girls lacrosse team beat Palmetto. Congratulations to the softball team that beat the Emu Mock League. Indians last night, five to one. Great job. The drill team competed this weekend in the annual drill competition. The team took home four first place in armed squad exhibition, individual armed exhibition, and two other exhibitions. Congratulations. The boys track team throwers won the discuss and came out in second in the, in the shot put, and the girls won the shot put at the Naples Relay. Congratulations, Cougars. Congratulations to the Florida State DECA winners. Tri M Music Honor Society is hosting Chapter Jamboree on Friday, March 24th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the auditorium. Use the QR code to pre-register to attend. All members and music students from around the district are welcome. The QR code is on the homepage of the school website. The Green Group will be having meetings every Tuesday in Mrs. Yaren's room at lunch. If you are interested in gardening, animals, plants, and our environment, come by and join us. GSA will resume meetings after spring break. National Honor Society tutoring is currently available in math, science, reading, and writing in the Media Center. Mondays through Thursdays from 2.15 to 3 o'clock, and now they also offer free tutoring every Wednesday during lunch in room 164. This is National School Breakfast Week. They will be serving a special menu all week. All right, do you want to go to the beach now? Isn't that red tide? Sounds fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's wrestle BC Nation. Your Cougar wrestlers finished the top of the podium. Tackling their opponents and beating out more than 135 of Florida's greatest wrestlers. Freshman Kira Partello took fourth in the wrestling state championship. Senior Captain Ennis Lajovic took fifth in the state. He finished his all-time career as a three-time state qualifier, Disney All-American, two-time wrestling state placer with over 150 personal wins, and has earned a Division I scholarship at the Davidson. Senior Captain Lucas Giles took second in the state and finished his career as a two-time state qualifier, Disney All-American, and two-time wrestling state placer with over 150 wins. He will be committed to college and be wrestling soon. The team finished 10-2 in their duels, second in the county championship, and won both team and individual district titles. Coach Bartello, head wrestling coach, has ended another great Successful season as he has now produced 49 state qualifiers, 24 state placers, 4 state runner-ups, and 3 state championships. For the blue and the gray, BC Nation, men, women, let's wrestle!